Hi, I'm Bridger Fates, and welcome to uh, Master Stockman's Sheep Management videos. We're going to do eight of these videos, cover some topics that uh, should be interesting to all of you, whether you're managing a small farm flock or whether you've got a large range flock like this uh, that we're out here with today. I think you'll uh, find these videos interesting. We've got a good team. Uh, Whit Stewart, Dr. Whit Stewart is our sheep specialist and he's going to cover a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, ground in these videos. We've also got uh, myself, uh, Bridger Fates, I'll be covering the economics. Bart and Stam will be hitting on the range management topics and Hudson Hill will be covering a lot of sheep topics as well as focusing on risk management. So that's the team. We hope to do these videos in a little bit more interactive format instead of just a uh, uh, lecture format so you're going to see some live action like this you're going to see some lecture and then you're going to see some round table discussion between all of us so if that's interesting to you stick around we've got some great videos on tap for you all right today in episode one i'm going to talk to you a little bit about what this is all about the rest of the uh, seven videos and introduce the tools that we're going to use um, to make these sorts of decisions on your on your operation so over these next seven videos, we're going to talk to you about some options for managing risk for sheep producers. And Dr. Witt Stewart's going to take on most of that. You know, Dr. Stewart's got a wealth of knowledge in terms of sheep, both in terms of hands-on experience as well as research experience. Uh, Barton Stam will also uh, cover some of that, and he'll be covering uh, some of the range management uh, issues. Barton. Uh, works with a lot of producers, both sheep and cattle producers, uh, on range management and managing pastures. And then Hudson Hill will cover some as well, and Hudson will give us an overview of, of some of the risk management, as well as Hudson's got uh, a lot of experience with hands-on production in both uh, sheep and cattle. And so uh, Hudson will, will add, in, add in there. And so, you know, what's my role? Well, my role is to help with the economics. And my goal over these next videos is to uh, uh, present some tools to you that you can use um, to make some decisions based on the information you receive in the videos and, and information you, you, know, you get and try, decisions you're trying to make in terms of, of your ranch, uh, where you're at, and, and some of those things that you want to, you want to do there. So with that, I'm going to show you the, the tools that we're going to use, and those tools are on the Wyoming Ranch Tools website. Uh, the site is Wyoming Ranch Tools again. To get to it, you can go to uwyoextension.org forward slash ranch tools, or the more simple approach is to just Google Wyoming Ranch Tools, and this is the first site that comes up. So these tools were designed for ranchers. You know, it's called Wyoming Ranch Tools, but we've really used these uh, all over the, the country and help producers uh, making decisions. And that's what they're designed for. Uh, the, the site is the design by myself and maintained by myself. Many of the tools are, are my own, of my own design as well. And some of those tools um, uh, have co-collaborators on and designers and will, and I'll uh, let you know that as we go through this. So the goal of these tools is to help producers answer those what if questions. You know, as a sheep producer, what if I'm thinking about um, maybe breeding some yearling ewes where I haven't done that in the past? What are some of the changes that might happen to my operation because of that decision? And how do I tell if I'm gonna be economically better or worse off by making that decision? That's what these tools are for. So primarily, or the primary tool that we use is this partial budget. The partial budget really can serve as a foundation for a lot of the decisions you make on your operation, at least a lot of the economic decisions. So if we click on the partial budget, this is what the partial budget tool looks like. And essentially, every time you make a change on your ranch, you're going to have things happen essentially in these four different categories that you need to account for, for in terms of economics. So if you're going to make a change, let's say you, you want to uh, market uh, your lambs at a little different time point. You know, maybe you want to extend them out, put a little more weight on them, uh, make them a little heavier before you sell them. So what are your additional costs are you going to incur uh, from doing that? 
Um, you also need to think about, well, what income are you giving up? You know, you're, if you're marketing those lambs later, you certainly could have sold the lambs earlier like you had in the past at a lighter weight. And, and so you've got to give that income up. In terms of your additional income, you think about, well, what are my lambs going to weigh at that later marketing date? What price do I think I'm going to be able to get? Uh, you know, you, you think through those additional income potentials and then thinking through any reduced costs in this strategy. Um, you know, there might be costs that you can reduce or, or, or eliminate uh, based on the change you're thinking about. So that's the basis of this partial budget model. It's a, it's a great template to use to understand whether you're going to be better or worse off on a, on a decision you're making on a ranch. And at the end, you get a net income or loss. So if that number is positive, definitely worth thinking about. If it's negative, probably, you know, probably want to make some changes, at least tweak uh, to, to tweaks to the plan, or maybe that plan is not the right plan for you on your operation. The other thing we include is this uh, sensitivity analysis. So it gives you a best and worst case scenario based on this first example is a 10% error factor. And the second example is a 5% error factor. So maybe you underestimated your cost by 5% and overestimated by your revenue by 5%. This is that factor you would look at. Or maybe if you're not as sure with your numbers, you'd look at that 10% factor. There are some examples on the website. So there's a yearling steer example here. There's a winter lamb example. You know, as, as sheep producers, this is probably the example you want to, to look at. Uh, certainly these numbers were accurate um, as an example and a, and a good set to look through and a way to help you understand how you might utilize this tool to see if it makes sense for you or not. Uh, not trying to convince you to, to winter your, your, your lambs down in California on alfalfa pastures, uh, but just as an example here to look at uh, as you're analyzing things. There's also a drought example here on the, on the website as well. So that's the partial budget tool. It's the basis for most of the other tools on the website and the basis for uh, how to make good decisions on your operation. If we go back to the main page here. Another valuable tool for sheep producers is this net present value tool. So say you're making a change on your operation and you'll, <clears throat> and you'll have to invest some money in uh, to that change that you probably won't you won't be able to get a return on right away. It'll take some time uh, to get that return. So in this example, we just have a $25,000 investment with an interest rate or a, or a rate of return of 5%. And we're looking at you know, how long it would take us to break even. So that's a tool that you can use when you're looking at making changes on your ranch that require an investment. Another calculator that, that we use quite often with sheep producers um, and one that we'll do an example on in one of the upcoming videos. So this break-even budget, we're going to look at change in market timing and figure out what the break-even price is for those lambs if you change your market timing. So we'll, we'll work through that one. Wit and I will, an example for you uh, on how to use that tool in one of the upcoming budgets. Another uh, calculator that we use a lot, it says Cal Valuation Calculator, but you'll see once you click on it, there's a U Valuation as well. This calculator was uh, developed by Dr. John Ritten in, uh, with help from Steve Paisley, Brian Lee, and myself. And then the U version of this calculator is something I adapted from, from uh, Dr. Ritten's Cal Valuation Calculator. So we'll kind of go through this one as an example of how you use some of these tools on the website. It's a great example and a calculator that gets used quite often by sheep producers. So in this example, you, you enter your U costs here. Um, so we have them in at, at uh, 125, maybe your U costs are a little less. Let's put them in at $110 a head. The sell weight of your lambs, uh, these lambs are in here at 85. Lamb price, maybe we'll go with 175 for our lamb price on this example. We have a call weight of, of 200, uh, call you price of $45 a hundred weight. Um, we want in this example, this discount rate is another way to think of it. 
in this calculator is rate of return. So we want a 7% rate of return. And then you would enter your weaning percentage here. And so you can change these numbers to be more accurate and more reflective of your own operation. That's the, the beauty of these calculators. And then what we calculate is based on, so if you look at the center column, that's constant lamb prices. So if you assume that lamb prices are gonna be fairly constant at that 175 level uh, over the next several years, that's the column you would look at. If you think on average prices are gonna be declining, you might look at this first column, or if you think uh, prices are gonna be going up 5% per year, this last column. But if we assumed that you that you're buying is going to have maybe seven to eight lambs in her lifetime for you on average, certainly you'll have a few ewes that have more than that on their lifetime, but you'll have some ewes that, you know, for one reason or another, either they were cold, um, there's mortality, uh, just don't work in your program, or you just won't get as many uh, lambs from her over her productive lifetime in your flock. So if we look at a seven to eight average, let's pick seven. That means if, um, if that you has seven lambs for you in your operation, you can afford to pay $265 for her right now and still get a 7% return on your investment, right? So if you think prices are going up, maybe you can afford to pay as much as 394. If you think prices are going down, maybe she's really only worth $140 to you. So that's how this calculator works. It's a great tool to get started, uh, whether you're looking at buying some use or whether you're looking at selling some use, a good calculator to give you a base price to start from. Certainly that number isn't the end all be all. You know, if you find a really nice set of use that you think are gonna be extremely productive, then maybe you could argue that you could pay a little more for that. Uh, you know, conversely, if you're just buying, you know, some, some older short-term use with a lot of risk to them, maybe you shouldn't be paying that much, right? So that's the way this calculator works on the U valuation. And it's one of our, our more popular calculators for, for sheep producers. Another calculator that uh, sheep producers can use is this price slide calculator. So the way the price slide calculator works is, you know, if you are selling on the video or uh, with an order buyer that's, that's quoting you a, a price slide for your lambs, you can look at that price slide and we'll calculate a break-even cost of gain for you. So if you, you know, if you're putting weight on those lambs cheaper than that break-even cost of gain, uh, probably a, a good contract to go ahead and enter. If it's going to cost you more to put uh, weight on those lambs, then maybe you ought to think about that slide um, or maybe uh, be more conservative in your weight estimates um, to the buyer. Another uh, calculator uh, that we're going to go through an example with right now. We've got some bull numbers in here, but but we'll go through a RAM uh, example here in, a, in one of the future videos. And so this RAM example, you would enter in, you know, your current RAM cost and then, you know, the cost of, a, of RAMs if you're looking to upgrade your RAMs. And then we'll get, we'll calculate sort of a per lamb value you need to get on that to see whether it's realistic to expect to be able to, to uh, break even on that genetic investment. Another calculator that uh, producers can use uh, quite a bit, whether you're sheep or cattle, and certainly uh, one of the videos we talk about adding sheep to a cattle operation, uh, these calculators might come in really handy. It's a stocking rate tool. So if you're used to grazing cattle or you're used to grazing sheep and or you're used to grazing pears and you're wanting to, to move to uh, lambs or you're wanting to uh, you know, you're used to grazing cattle and you want to add some sheep to your operation, you might not know right away, you know, the differences in sort of uh, grazing timing, carrying capacity, and those sorts of things. So we can, we can help you calculate an estimate of production based on some past experience with a pasture. Then we can also help you calculate a stocking rate for, for other types of animals or, or uh, the animals that you're looking to put on there as well as calculate you know, how long you could have a certain set of animals on there in terms of the grazing season. Uh, so another calculator that you, gets used quite a bit on the website by both sheep and cattle producers. The last one I'll highlight here is this market comparison tool. So if you're looking at 
you know, if you've got an offer from a buyer um, or you're looking at going to your local auction barn versus selling on a video auction, you can compare those two auctions. So you, you know, you enter the number of head, you enter the weight, um, we can calculate a, a mileage rate for you uh, in terms of distance to market. Um, you can look at shrink, you can look at commission percentage differences. Maybe there's a videotaping charge for that video. And we calculate a, an apples to apples sort of price comparison for you at the end. So a good way to analyze some of those options in terms of market options for your lambs uh, as you're thinking about that. So that's, that's some of the main calculators that we'll use uh, as we go through the videos uh, upcoming and calculators that you can use as a sheep producer. Uh, some other th things on this site, we do have fact sheets tied to many of the calculators. So if you click on the fact sheets, you can find a uh, fact sheet that, that works you through the process of, of working through those calculators. A couple of other last uh, things to talk about. One, if you struggle with, with a calculation that you need to make on your operation, uh, you don't see it on here, and you're interested in having a calculator to develop to help you make some decisions, uh, give me a call, shoot me an email. My contact information is on this website. Uh, so you can contact me, um, and I'm happy to work with you uh, to develop a new calculator if that's something you're interested in, or if you have suggestions for the current calculators on here, uh, I'd love to hear that as well. So that's an overview of the Ranch Tools site. And over these next several videos, as we talk about uh, options that you might think about for changes in your operation, we'll try and go through some of these example tools to help you see how you might utilize those in your operation. So with that, I think we're going to break now and go to a panel discussion. And we're gonna talk uh, about how we've used these tools in the past and how we see producers using these at, uh, going forward. So with that, let's move on to the panel discussion. Well, so we've all been doing this for a while these days now. We've, uh, we've all had quite a bit of experience working with producers in the, in the last several years, kind of traveled around and, and worked with producers really all over the country and, and uh, big and small and, and had some opportunities to, to help producers. So what have you guys seen in terms of using these tools that we're going to be talking about in these videos? Have you, have you uh, what are some specific examples of using the tools that you can share with the, with the group? One thing I think that these tools have allowed me to observe with working with producers is that it takes the emotion out of uh, breeding stock purchases. I think the U-Valuation tool is a very easy to use tool that uh, is allowed people when they show up to buy replacement use or short term use to take the emotion out of what the asking price is and more so what can they make if they purchase these use. So I think it's just an objective emotion free tool that allows you to make better decisions. I really think that's uh one of the positives that I've seen with all of the tools is they're emotionless, right? It's just a cold, hard, and dirty, dirty tool that just is a, is a number. There's no emotion in it. It isn't about green or black or, <coughs> you know, sheep or cows or hay or not hay. It's, it's, just, it's just a cold, hard number, and I think that's really valuable for producers to be able to look at that way. I think the other thing that's been really interesting with the tools is I've, I've worked and done this over the years is, um, you know, it's, it's, the tools don't tell people what to do. The tools don't come out and say, here's how to make a profit on your ranch. Here's how to do this. Tools really make pe help people make decisions. And so the, the tools are just, a, just a, a way for producers to say, I wonder if this would work on my ranch, or I wonder if I should be doing this, or maybe I should stop doing this, and, and, and it's a way to make decisions. And I, and I think especially in, you know, in, in our business of academia, I think that's kind of a unique thing because I think most of academia wants to tell people this is how you do it. I think most of the salesmen and most of the, the consultants want to say, if you want to be successful, do it my way. And I think these tools are really unique in, the, in their ability to say, you know what, if, if you have a question, use one of these tools and it will help you look at it in a way emotionless that you won't be able to look at it in a, in a different way. Yeah, I think that's right. I think one of the things that I've seen, you know, sitting down with producers is 
especially working through like the partial budget tool is, you know, we'll, we'll work through an example, of something they're thinking about, a change that they're thinking about on their operation. And just going through that process of that partial budget and asking those probing questions, pretty soon, you know, there's three or four other things that we want to talk about and end up looking at. Um, and so it really opens the, opens the door for thinking about ways you can improve your operation and changes you can make. And I think that's been the, the big key for me, helping producers with the, the tools. So. Well, and you talk about using it for three or four different things, and that's what's so neat about the tools too. Is you've got we've got all these different tools that are right in one easy to use web page that that are for different. You know, we have economic tools on there. We've got uh, stock and rate tools on there. It's really a pretty nice package of tools that are on that web page. I I think about the tools, and I've uh, and I think about the producers that I've worked with with them with the tools over the years, and the partial budget's probably my favorite. But the partial the partial budget is probably the the least the least easy for somebody to go on and just use for the first time. It's not necessarily um, you know it's just not inherently picked up. But the, the 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 fun thing about the partial budget is once you do it a time or two, and it, and, and especially when you get multiple people involved, it's really fun to use. The to, you know kind of the tool that I've seen used and just picked up like that and. He, is it easiest to use is, you know, like the cal valuation tool. It's just, wow, that's an easy way to just look at a, a cold start number and start making decisions. So, yep. Yeah, I think that's the one. The one Whip talked about the first two that that looking at a cal valuation or a U valuation and really understanding how much you're going to afford and taking some of that emotion out of that purchasing decision. Uh, it really does get used used a lot. I think. In terms of the use of those tools, you know, some of those simpler ones like that get used a lot. The stocking rate tool that, that we worked, that Bart and I worked on together gets uh, used a lot on there. And um, one of the other tools that gets used the most is the price slide calculator. So both land producers and cattle producers use that price slide to, to really understand where they're at on their contracts. And that one gets used a lot too. So it's, it's one of the more well-used tools on the, on the site. So with the emerging market options that many sheep producers have. I mean, that's a critical tool, whether you're going to a cash outlet at a local sale barn or doing a large video auction. I think that's really, really helpful to make good decisions in strong markets and in bad markets. Yep. And talk about something that needs the emotion taken out of it, right? You're going to pay me less for bigger kind of a thing, and the emotion there just, just, just really drives producers crazy. But when, they, when they're able to look at it in the tool... It's just, it's just. Oh, well, that makes sense now. Why that slide has to take place? Yeah. So. Yeah. I think this has been good. Um, we'd like to thank <clears throat> USDA Risk Management Agency for partially funding these uh, these videos. We appreciate their support. We hope that you guys are enjoying these videos. We'd really like it if you would uh, go down uh, below and hit that like button. Maybe even subscribe. Uh, certainly in the comments, if you can give us some comments about. Uh, these tools about what you've used them on, what you plan on using them on, or if there's other types of these videos that you'd like to see, comment down below and let us know. We'd love to make some more and, and love to provide some resources for you as uh, sheep producers to make better decisions. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed the videos and, and you'll watch the other videos in this series. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button.